morning aviators. This is your instructor speaking. This tutorial is about the autopilot of uh, M346. If you want to use the autopilot with a uh, flight plan, you have to go to a uh, freeware site in the internet. Search for sites that support uh, .fms flight plans. So they support X-Plane. Enter your enter the details for uh, uh, departure and destination. And finally, you will download the file uh, .fms. Move this file into explain main folder under the DW sim flight plans. This is the location that our jet can load uh, the flight plans. After doing this, start explain. Okay, we're sitting on the runway, jet is ready. Now let's choose the flight plan that uh, we entered. We press flight plan, use the arrows up and down to choose between saved flight plans and then press set to activate the flight plan. Use up and down arrows to navigate throughout steering points and the, the highlighted steering points is the current one. To activate the navigation of the autopilot, we go to the MFT, menu, HSI and select the navigation source, the EGI. Selecting the altitude that we will fly, and after selecting the altitude, we have to press cell on the left eyebrows of the plane in order to be selected. Now we can activate the map so we can see visually the flight plan, and you can see the highlighted uh, steering point again, which is the next steering point that our plane will fly. Be ready to activate uh, the autopilot as soon as we take off. We make sure that we select horizontal navigation and vertical speed on the UFCP. So ready for takeoff and taking off. Let's open a pop-up window to see the MFT with the map. After takeoff, we will help the autopilot, so we will uh, do an intercepting course towards the flight leg we have to fly. And at any point, press the autopilot to engage the autopilot with all the presets we have already selected. Note that in the head-up display we have the horizontal navigation and vertical speed indications shown in which mode our autopilot is currently activated to fly with. You can see the indicator on the head-up display that shows us the position of the next steering point. In case we want to uh, divert and select another steering point from our flight plan, we press the steering point button on the UFCP, toggle between numbers or letters. Let's say that uh, we'll uh, use the Didymo, Delta Delta mic, and then we just press on the UFCP and automatically you can see that it's activated. And our jet, our jet is starting to turn towards this steering point.
If we want to activate the heading mode, we will go to the autopilot from the UFCP and select the heading. After that we can use the heading knob on the right side of the cockpit to adjust our heading accordingly. Change the altitude, we use the altitude knob to select the altitude above or below our current altitude and then we press select next to the altitude knob on the left side of the cockpit. Notice that in order for our jet to follow the new altitude we have to either climb or descend which will uh, disengage the autopilot and then we press again the autopilot button in order to engage again and continue to the new altitude selected. You can also engage the autopilot to hold a specific roll rate. To do so, input the roll you wish with the flight stick, press the roll button at the UFCP and then engage the autopilot. Using the same technique you can also engage the autopilot to hold vertical speed either it's descending or climbing. Again you fly the plane with the specific vertical speed you want. You press the button of vertical speed on UFCP and then engage the autopilot. Jet has also the ability to hold the flight path angle. Autopilot. So if you set the jet at a specific flight path, you press the FPA button and then again the autopilot. And autopilot will try to keep the preselected flight path. I hope this tutorial helps. Enjoy the flight. Stay tuned for more.